the length of a rectangle is five units more than twice its width. If the area is 250 square units, then find the dimensions of the rectangle. Now let's go ahead and try to identify our variables here, maybe with a picture. So we notice we're dealing with a rectangle. All right, let's call the width W, then the length is, okay, the length of a rectangle is five units more than twice the width. Okay, so twice the width would be 2W. Okay, and then five units more than that, plus five. Okay, so we have our, our width and our length in terms of the width. Now let's go ahead and try to s set up an algebraic equation to solve this. The key word to look for here is area. All right, now we know the formula for area of a rectangle, area equals length times width. And it tells us the area is 250 square units. Okay, so let's substitute that value in for A, 250. Now L um, is 2W plus 5. Okay, so 2W plus 5 times the width, right? So the area equals length times width. So here we have an, an equation with one variable. We can solve this using algebra. All right, so the first step is to multiply that W times the binomial. And to do that, we know we have to use the distributive property. So that gives us 2w squared plus 5w. All right, so we see that the equation is quadratic. To solve quadratics, the techniques that we have so far is to get it um, set it equal to 0. So we'll do that by subtracting 250 on both sides. That leaves us with 0 equals 2w squared plus 5w minus 250. Okay, and then from here, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to solve this by factoring. It looks like it'll factor. Uh, I'll factor 2w squared. That breaks up as 2w times w. Now we have to think of the factors of 250. And I suspect 25 times 10 should work. Now if I put the 10 over here and the 25 here, 25 times 10 is 250. I did it that way so that my middle term can work out. We have 25w, okay, and then the outer out here is uh, 2 times 10 or 20w. 25w and 20w add up to positive 5w if the 25 is positive and the 20 is negative. Okay, so that tells me if I put a plus here and a minus there, my middle term should work out. Now let's check the interim. Does the interim work? Positive 25 times negative 10 is negative 250. So that works. This factors. Let's go and erase this. And then continue. Once you have a factor, you then set each factor equal to 0. So 2w plus 25 equals 0 or w minus 10. Whoops. w minus 10 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0 using the 0 property. And then this tells me w equals 10 units. And then on this side we have 2w equals negative 25. So w equals negative 25 divided by 2. Now the width here uh, doesn't make sense to be negative. Okay, So I'm going to throw that away. That's sort of extraneous. Let's use um, the width at uh, 10 units. Okay, So if the width is 10 units, we can figure out the length using... 2w plus 5, so 2 times uh, the 10 plus the 5, that's going to be my length, uh, twice the width, you know, 5 more than twice the width, so 20 plus 5, we're looking at 25 units for the length. Okay, so the width for the dimensions here are 10 units, and the length it's 25 units. Certainly the area then would be 10 times 25 or 250 square units.